Hello everyone, I am Sigrid, a hearty welcome to you all and thank you for joining me in another mod spotlight in Hearts of Iron 4. Well, why not play perhaps as a nation commonly known as the CIS in the movie Star Wars? It was Star Wars or Star Trek, I forgot. Uh, please excuse me. Yeah, Star Wars, okay, I was not wrong. So, the mod we are going to take a look today is called Confederacy of Independent Systems or CIS. No, it's not the CIS which today exists like with Russia, Belarus and Kazakhstan. No, it's the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Alright, the mod came out two days ago. It's only open 3 megabytes big. It isn't such a huge mod. It's only, well, it at least has a custom focus trail we can see here, which I'm going to spotlight thoroughly. And the fun thing is you can create, you can, well, build your own battle droids. Your own battle droids. They are super powerful. And they only require one man. Not 1004 brigade, only one man. So you shouldn't uh, struggle with manpower, that's for sure. And for example, here, General Curious is the leader, we're gonna take a look to that, look to that handsome, handsome guy here. And then, uh, there are also custom advisors, and that is where Counter is located. So, but let's get to the game, the description says, this mod adds in the CIS from Star Wars, complete with its own technology, advisors, and most importantly, a focus tree. You are now free to lead the Confederacy of Independent Systems, the CIS, led by General Jerevius. Any testing and feedback is greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and test mod, I'd say. I close that window and then continue to get into the game. So let's see. I'm playing with the uh, mod where America doesn't guarantee on the American continent, where I mean the USA. Commonly known as America doesn't, yeah, where America doesn't grant you on America, where the USA doesn't grant you on America. Alright. Go sure to check the mod link down below in the, in the description. As always, and like it. Perhaps also favorite it. If you like it, then let's get going. We we'll, we, we could play for the 939 beginning, but uh, 939 would be here. Also, but the start out non aligned as the Trade Federation. Because it shouldn't matter that much, because, uh, well, only the world is different. And since I also have the 80% uh, non guarantee mod enabled, things should be, well, we could play from a 939 start, or we could play from a 936 as well, where we could just expand more. Let's. Hmm. I'm gonna make a poll now. Like, from now on, if we can choose, would you rather like to see the, me playing in the 1936 or in the 1939 beginning? Let me know. For now, I'm going to uh, make it 1936, but depending on your vote, what you would rather, uh, more preferably like to see, I may change this in the future. Anyways, let's play as the. Currently, it's called Trade Federation. Led by Newt Gundry. We are not online. Let's play. Let's make things fun, play on recruit. Not boost us, perhaps, without the Trocal Air focuses, because we are a small nation, so we'll make things easy. As the Trade Federation. Okay. Well, you might think uh, we lack manpower, we only have 722,000, but. 23,000. But if you check our template, the Battle Droid Division, it only requires actually 4 manpower. For an entire division, only 4 manpower. But a really high amount of equipment, but only for manpower, so you shouldn't even like these 10,000 should be fully enough to conquer the world for you, to say the least, yeah. Well, we start off with three research slots, and well, as a fairly small nation in the Caribbean, in the province of British Guiana, and also we control this province of Trinidad and also British Guiana. Okay. It's only one out of 25 slots because it's a pastoral region, but we have nine slots in there. We could also build more factories perhaps in Trinidad, yes, where we have two unlocked slots. So, the focus tree isn't that huge, but it's well made. So we can get more naval dockyards, get some boosts. We can get some air force research. Then we can uh, get the banking clan loan. We can also reform into the CIS, where we become fascists. 
I think I'm gonna do that. Let's reform to the CIS. No. Description Sally, but that's fine. So the fascists become ruling party. Let's get the game going already. Let's get sport back. Let's all, I mean, we don't need this. Let's, so let's get industry instead. So industry. And TLC, these are the custom... The custom, well... Technology for our nation of the Federation. I'm also uh, using a new mod called Colored Puppets. So um, I'm just gonna uh, make it to say all. Mobile. Hmm, well, we don't have tanks, do we? I don't think the tank counts in. I mean, does it even count in as an infantry? I'm uncertain at, at this point, to be honest. If it does. Anyways, uh, we have, well, perhaps three, three factories. I can build one more. Let's build one more civilian factory here in Trinidad. It's time to produce battle droids. We are getting. Uh, five per day. Let's get. Uh, we need steel though, but we can get steel from the uh, Germans perhaps to support them. It's a long trade road. If you look at the trade road, it's quite long. Let's see here the resource map mod. Steel is coming all the way, all the way here from Germany all the way to us. That's fine. Oh, we can prepare for war or handle the rush clovers. I don't know what that is, so I'm just gonna prepare for war. Okay, where we'll get two extra. Military factories, that's nice. So we'll have six military factories, seven, six actually. Then. Yeah. So the first enemy should be Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela. They are fascists, but they are a perfect target. They have tons of oil, so we can export oil to other countries. And well, they have a good amount of civilian factories. So a perfect target, if you ask me. Okay, they cost quite a bit because we. Uh, our rush clubs gives us a plus 100% modifier in the high command and in the chief of air force. This is a thing we don't want, so I will actually go ahead and handle rush clubs for an instance because well, there's no need we have to have such a hard penalty on us. So let's go and handle rush clubs. If somebody know what rush clubs is, let me know. I don't, but perhaps uh, you. I'm more familiar with uh, StarCraft, with uh, Star Wars, with, uh, StarCraft, with, with Star Wars than I am, perhaps you may know. Well, I can, yeah, we have to get rid of Rush Clovis, but I can get, well, we can the theory. let's get an industrial concern, for instance. We'll do that, our army is 8 men strong, 8 men strong. Well, I don't, what, what, my, my game crashed just now. Well, uh, that didn't make any sense to be honest, because I'm not playing with any game altering mods. Not even with the extended technology, so I'm just gonna get back into the game. And I can't explain the reason why the game crashed. Um, okay, perhaps... Uh, okay, let's just take it as a minor setback. This shouldn't... Yeah, I'm not playing... I'm only playing with the graphical mods, and then with the, with the CIS mod, nothing else. My mods shouldn't... Cause the game to crash, no way, no, it should not, so, mm. that's weird, truly. Well, let's hope that this is not gonna happen again, let's just get back to the game, since we had an autosave in the beginning of the last month, we didn't lose that much of time, yeah, things will be acceptable. Well, perhaps you can try your luck out and see if your game crashes as well, or not, but I don't think so. That is weird. Let's see. Did the focus. Well. Mm, make it fresh. I don't know. Let's go ahead. With the autosave temp. Okay. Then get back straight to the game and hope for you not to crash. Oh, okay. I didn't even research the CIS. Uh, okay. What? My game just crashed again. Um, okay. So this is. Mm, well, <laughs> uh, I I don't know why. I mean, that's that's not nice at this point. This wasn't always expected. Well, I can turn every other mods off. That's fine, but it doesn't make sense because I'm playing with a white map font. Yeah, and also with frontline AI. Just maybe turn. But uh, I, I I'm only playing with graphical mods. Okay. Anyways, you know what? I'm gonna. Try it once more. Then I'm gonna try my luck from the 1939 starts. 
yeah, maybe it doesn't crash there. How was that? Maybe it turn off the god puppets. There's a new mod. We just came out, feel free to check it out as well. But I don't think that shouldn't be the reason. It's only changing the color and nothing else, so that's weird, but at least. Uh, since this safe can may be broken, I will try out my luck now from the 1939, but I don't think it's programmed to uh, us uh, to start from the 1939. Okay, it's just an area, whatever here. I'm sure we'll have still, we still have the 1936 technology, well at least the world will be more uh, well active then, I guess. Okay, uh, alright, there we go, yeah, if we check our technology, yes, oh, okay, we have the 1939 stuff, that's fine. We also get the battle droid, so that's fine, let's go up to get some sport equipment. Um, my land doctrine is quite nice researched. Again, perhaps go to the pump and then for increased industry. So never mind, it's ready and steady for us to even succeed with the game from the 1939 start. It's ready quite a bit, actually, that's quite nice. Um, but I don't think I'll... Look, our hmm, tanks look... They look quite nice. They have a custom... Yeah, the tanks look quite Star Wars-like, to say the least. Hmm. But I can uh, go for perhaps the B2 Super Battle Droid. But I can even research that, so no need to stand. Let's spend a slot for that. Let's, well, I mean, go for atomic research. Yeah. Okay, well, at least the game didn't crash now, so let's go refund into CIS. But this should make the game crash, no way. We still have four. I want to get the B1 Battle Droid. There we go. Steel can be gathered from uh, Germany. Okay, and then uh, let's build another civilian factory in Trinidad. And France, well, we have enough political power, so I'm going to get an industrial concern and then also a the Watt Tambor. Watt Tambor. Perhaps you know if you know Star Wars, Watt Tambor, let's get him. Let's also get a small arms company. Then let's get okay. They cost one thousand one hundred. They cost one thousand one hundred fifty-one. Um. Well, that price is a bit too much, if you ask me. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Um. Well. Um. Yeah, okay. Better not. The staff costs three hundred as well. So I'll. I just go for. Well, I guess. Light aircraft designer, then a ship designer, also armor company, but I don't I want to build any armor anyway, so that's whatever. Okay, we are already on extended conscription, and plus we are on war economy, so that's a good thing. I could go to limited experts, but it shouldn't matter, because we, the only thing we have is aluminum. Well, and well, no nation is trading with us, really. We are a reliant supplier of... Okay. Well, I don't know here if I turn fascist, the game simply crashes. Yeah. Uh, let's say that. Okay. Mm. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, I hope you're enjoying the spotlights. <laughs> I'm just going to turn off every other mod than this. Okay. Well. Even if it crashes then, then it has to be a problem of the mod, come on. I didn't, yeah, I can perhaps, it shouldn't be of the user directory, let's just turn off every other mod. Fine, what the purpose of this one mod, let's see. Yeah, I'll only have the CIS mod enabled, nothing else. A free South America shouldn't cause our game to, to crash, there's no way. I mean, it's only a guarantee mod, plus this should be there. Yeah, this... Okay, let's turn everything else off. Non-reflective water, uh, strategy view adjustments, and also this stuff. Alright, now it shouldn't crash. Well, if it crashes, then this is a rather failed spotlight, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Once more... Uh, the third launch of the game. Perhaps we may be successful 
for this time. I'm gonna start from the 1939 beginning. Because, yeah, we lost some time because the mod just kept crashing. Yeah, the game also looks really different to me because I'm not used to play on this setting. But okay, that's fine. Okay, come on. There you go. Just get the game going as soon as possible. Yeah, okay, just get into the roof of the CIS. And then a research. What shall we research? Give it out of time. Time to come with research. And also our. Of our warfare of train. Get there and build another civilian factory there. And the Polish joined the war already. I looked at that. Build some battle droids, okay. And then steal uh, from the German Polish. There we go. Perhaps we can get see, just everything. Let's get you, let's get you a light aircraft, ship designer, techno union, and also concern, and. Infantry equipment designer. We have Rush Clovis. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, there he is. He's a Republic loyalties. Yeah, he makes uh, everything cost insanely, insanely much. Yeah. Okay. That's. I certainly have to get rid of him, of Rush Clovis. You know, if the game doesn't crash now, then things should be all right for us. If it does, then I'm sorry, but there's then nothing else that I can do. So the moment of truth is coming is a project in five days, in four days, in three days, in two days, in one day, and in zero days. Okay. Oh, the game didn't crash. Perhaps it was one mod causing it, I don't know. Let's hand rush club as well. If so, then this mod has a really bad uh, compatibility with other mods, that's for sure. Anyways, I. But I don't have a single field of division, really. Why? Yeah, if you start from 939, we even don't have. Okay, never mind. This mod has a mistake. It's faulty. We cannot play from 939 because we don't have a division template. Ah, so I have to do a restart again. Well, this mod certainly has some faults, so we can see. We shouldn't encounter so many crashes and so many. Uh, problems, but here, fine, I am patient, let's give it another shot from 936. Uh, start now, okay, but at least it didn't crash last time, so it shouldn't crash this time again. So at least get yeah, enough three going. Well, I guess, which type is that? That's a special force, is it? Yeah, that's a special force, so... I guess that counts as infantry, but I'm not sure, to be honest. If it does count as infantry or not. Well, uh, therefore, let's see, if it counts as infantry, I should go, on this path, I should go for the Grand Battle Plan Doctrine, if it counts as infantry. Or, or for the Mass Assault Doctrine, this is also a good pick. I think the Grand Battle Plan is perhaps the best pick if you go infantry only, because they are here really infantry based. Okay, they're getting the crash now. Let's handle Rush Clubis. He's a loyalist, and you know what will happen to that. Well, our army is eight men strong. We have two divisions, so they require still 1200 uh, B1 battle droids. Are the battle droids got our army? We have two divisions. Let's tell them to get ready for the war against the Venezuelans. Venezuelans. So we have our leader, let's see. Yes, we have. We have a level 4 general called. Excuse me, Kalani. We have a level 1 general called T Serious Technical Droids. And a level 3 field marshal called Gravius. Our own very leader of our own very country. Well, I want to get this general because of his nice additions. There we go, Kalani to lead our army. We handled Rush Clubs. That's a good thing. So goodbye, Rush Clubs, wherever you may be. Then let's prepare for war. Prepare for war, which will give us a land bonus, a research bonus for a land doctrine, and two extra military factories. Isn't that great? So, since we handled him, yes, I can uh, go and enact. Well, I don't need it, since I don't have many factories, so it shouldn't matter at this point, does it? But I can get trench for extra army offense. Trench. Mm. And then perhaps. What can I research? Yeah, a grand bell friend. 
But Crane, well, our army, the Venezuelans, they have about well, two divisions in the field. Well, they are going fascist, clearly. Which doesn't surprise me. Then, I can go for army logistics here for extra infantry. Let's go for... I think it counts as infantry. How about this? Let's go for the Kalani. The boost in infantry. Then let's get the B2 Super Battle Droids. Yeah, he's superior. Because researching this is not possible right now because it's uh, 3 years. 2.35 years out of time. But while getting this, it will be, well, greatly beneficial for us. Therefore, let's get this. Let's also get small equipment. Army 8. Okay. Let's see. Well, our stockpile is steadily increasing. But I don't think yet two divisions aren't enough to win a war. Let's try and perhaps two more in British Guiana here, in this very province. Two more. Uh, they only require four manpower, but they really require 2,400 battle droids. So they, from that aspect, it's quite expensive. Yeah, it is certainly. One division, and considering it only has four, um, four brigades, it's quite expensive. Yeah. Well, let's say we could recruit the Techno Union. Of course, let's go and do that. So we could grant us a spirit for the Techno Union. Uh, like, less production cost and increased arm experience. Let's go for that. Sounds alright. Well, okay, then let's get perhaps the sound workers. Called Newt Gunroy. Well, at least we have characters from the real Star Wars series, so that's a nice thing to say at least. Let's get our industrial path up and running. As well, oh, they are increasing the armed forces, but we should be stronger than they are. I mean, we have super battle droids, but they are quite expensive. Yeah, let's perhaps add one line of B2 super battle droids. They are superior compared to the normal B ones, but they're also more expensive. Uh, since I like the experience, it uh, won't be possible at this very point, so I'm afraid. We can train them. Training is go going quite fast because it's a small division. Let's see, higher, surely higher a Bactoid Armor Workshop or a higher combat uh, Bactoid Combat Automata. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure. Well, we could go for armor, yeah. Armor. Let's do this later. Let's perhaps go ahead and uh, do the industrialization program for extra research boosts in that area and get in. Industrial concern got it going. Okay. We can get the B2 Super Battle Droids. Uh, so, uh, France and Britain allowed themselves quite early comparatively. Quite early, yeah. So the Allies strengthened. Well, let's see if Germany fails here or not. It will be interesting to see. Well, at least, yeah, we are two countries that are trading with us. So that's a good thing. We are getting two factories from. Whoever train is training with us, so thank you. Good. Well, then, for what should we go? Perhaps make a computing. It's always important, kind of. Then also, let's get um, yeah, infantry equipment designer. Plus, we can expand the mining industry, so we can get these extra three factories. Yeah, let's. We need ample resources to fuel our building war machine. We should look forward. Exp we should look towards expanding our domestic mining industry. I think that's just yeah, copied from something. Okay, they renew their own protocols, that's interesting. Well, that's all ahead of time. I don't know what to research. I don't need any. Oh, perhaps we can get better armor for the future. There we go. Battle droid divisions. Tell them to go to Trinidad. I. Okay. Oh, do I have convoys? Yes, I do. They just have to move to there. Now they can go through the depths. Okay, let's see if we can just cross into uh, Venezuela. There. I think our army of 16 men should be strong enough, to be honest. Should be. <laughs> yeah. Let's justify war goal. Perhaps, well, two more divisions would be nice to have. Let's train maybe two more. That's it. After this, I'm going to attack them. That's for sure. This is the last expansion. Okay, we can also get uh, army grouping for increased recovery, right? I can either get more military or more civilian. I'll... Hmm. 
But I'll go for the civilian ones, because I need civilians, so let's get for the factory grants. Okay. That's 1.2 thousand. Well, we're getting around 40 per day, so that's a good thing. Uh, uh, yes, we are getting around uh, 40 per day, so that's okay. Let's try and tell our troops to try and they shouldn't over try and though. You will be led by our very field marshal, Gravius. Attack in the Caracas. I think we can simply bypass their army, to be honest, and just march into the country. Uh, I'm looking for armor. Well, I have no armor yet, so um, let's see. We can get Sam Hill from the Banking Clan. Or Shumai from the Camarilla leader. That's quite nice. Let's get him. Seems to be useful. And then, what should I get here? Let's get the radio. He probably joins the Pact of Rome. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh, Austria. Well, that's nice. A nice Pact of Rome form. Germany is no longer unopposed. Well, that's really, really interesting considering the circumstances now. We have a Pact of Rome. Well, Italy didn't join it, so why did the game lie to, lie to me, please? That's, that's, that's not nice. Italy didn't join the Pact of Rome, so I don't know why. That must be a bug. Let's found the University of Raxus. Yeah, well, this mod also severely, severely lacks description, so that's for sure. Anyways, I've uh, made you wait long enough. Let's uh, wait until they're fully trained. Let's just deploy them right now. Slow down the game speed. Tell them just to get ready for a bit and tell them to stop to uh, training. To stop training. Okay, let them regain their strength. Okay, then I can. I will justify against them at once. It's taking us 15 days, so they have 15 days left to prepare their very army for an invasion of their friendly neighbor. Let's see how things. Okay, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's see if our small army is actually strong enough as the mods claim claims it to be. Let's declare war or call allies. Well, we have none but still. One will attack this division, and these three will. I can only. So these three will advance there, and one will just keep them busy. Let's tell them actually to cross the line. There we go. Well, we are having a well bad bad breakthrough. Well, they have a nice defense because they are in the jungle, etc. There we go. We broke through already. One division is. Uh, that's interesting. I want to advance into the forest before they are. But they are retreating the Venezuelans, they are retreating, that's for sure. Well, there we go. Well, I am advancing quite swift, quite quick. Let's keep them busy. Not allow them any area to retreat. I don't have to attack them, so let's go advance with them further. There we go. Now they're attacking us. Now we have the upper hand. Research, get it done quick, just so I can get you and also uh, you. Okay, then, yeah, there we go. Go to Caracas. Caracas. Okay, which arm is advancing? This one. That's sweet. Let's win the war quick and swift. Oh, they reinforce the lines. That's not nice. Well, we can simply bypass them. We have two divisions here, just burst bypass them. Okay. Oh, they reinforce the lines as well. Ah, smart Venezuelans. Well, they're capturing their capital, you know, would have resulted in them surrendering. So, they did a smart call there. Yeah, they have a really good defense. So, these divisions aren't as overpowered as they should be. I mean, we are a weak nation, so we should have at least strong a strong army. Well, we went as well as I think superior. We, we constantly bypassed them, no. Yep, okay, we... Lost that, so this mod, to be honest, is, well, utter unplayable. How you see, we can't even manage to win a war against Venezuela. Well, you can say it's my mistake, but let like, you see how things are going. So, well, we are doomed, they won the war, and, and, and let's see their fight uh, with us. Plus, this mod crashed insanely often, therefore, yeah. I would rate it as, well, something to... Uh, Get improved, certainly. Yeah, the Venezuelans are just stomping upon us. Yeah. So our battle droids, they should have been very strong, if you ask me, to be honest. Just to have some fun, like maybe 10 times the current strength they have now, that would have been acceptable. 
with this strength and just uh, well surrender back to Trinidad and see how long we can uh, stay active here. Okay. Yeah, they just have to cross the straits. I'm just gonna dissolve them if I can, so the war ends. Okay. Yeah, well, now they can march in and capture us. Okay, well, we aren't surrounding. There we go. They took two states and then the war ended. Rest of peace, rest in peace. Yeah, yes. Anyways, thank you all for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go sure to check the links and the mod down below in the description. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this different kind of a spotlight. I'm Sagren and I'm out. Have a good day to you all and see you next time. Goodbye.